Hello and welcome back to our renovation project here in Portugal and to the location of our future laundry room. Now not much has changed in here since we were last in here doing some more plastering but we have run some more first fix electrics in preparation for connecting up to our heat pump and all the various technologies that are going to be in here in due course. But before we do any of that and before we get some paint on the walls we need to deal with this. The floor upstairs needs to come up and be replaced. All the tiles need to be removed. All the floorboards need to come up because they're all rotten. We're gonna put down an OSB subfloor. And so that is the project for this video. So that's where we were and that's where we're going. So the first thing we need to do is clear this room because there's a lot of stuff on top of this floor which we are about to remove. So the room is clear and it actually was a lot easier than I thought even though it was a bit frustrating and it is not the nicest in here. It uh, definitely needs some work before we call this a relaxing upstairs lounge with a wood burner. So the plan was to clear the room, take up the old tiles and the cement render, remove the rotten floorboards and then put down some new OSB as a subfloor. And there's been a change of plans. Things never go to plan. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look happy. Oh, I'm just anticipating the work and dust. <laughs> so this is the last room. Yeah, the last room in the house that has not had the cement render ripped off the walls. And this actually has tiles pushed into the cement render. But yeah, we kind of think it's an opportunity to strip this room since it's empty. This does not fill me with joy. <laughs> I'm going to spend the next three days with cement dust in my hair. But I think we're going to strip the cement off walls. It's time for a good old fashioned demolition video. <laughs>
So, some good news. The truck is fixed for now. <sighs> Needed a handbrake cable replaced. Hopefully that's it for a while. The bad news is we're not even halfway done with this room. So the dust has settled and we have rested a little bit since doing this project that was not planned at all. The good news is that is now done. 
and we can actually make a start with what we plan to do at the beginning of this video. The other good news is we rerouted the water. So we now have water in our bathroom. Okay, we don't have a flushing toilet, but now there is a tap. It's <laughs> a very <temporary> exciting. Tap. <laughs> Why didn't we do that uh, years months ago? ago. Yeah. <laughs> when we went to sign the papers for this house, we met the owners who were the daughters of the daughter of the original owner. So the, the original grand, builder. Yeah, the grandchildren. And they were telling us about how when they were kids, there was a staircase that went up into the loft and there were shelves and they used to have all their canned goods on the shelves. And as we took the cement off this one wall and we were able to step back, we can see this shadow line of where the staircase originally was. So this had some lime render on it which you can see, see here, and then they cemented over that. But this must have been not well, it could have, It could just be where the wood was and yeah. it's kind of leached something into the stone, I don't and, know. And so I went up into the loft this morning and this part doesn't actually have joists or floorboards on top of it. So I think this was all originally open with the big old chimney and fireplace with stairs and there's two kind of fake walls up there. So yeah, I think this whole part was open, a staircase here and the preserves somewhere on a shelf. Um, so that was really nice to be able to put together this weird statement that they said, which I was like, there is no staircase going into the loft mm -hmm. with kind of what we've uncovered. And we've talked before about the history of the house and we've kind of pieced it together through some of the things we found and also some documentary evidence that we have. But if there was ever any doubt about when all of the kitchen and bathroom plumbing was done, when we pulled out some of the pipes, they actually have the, like the date stamp on them, which was the 19th of February, 1990. So it was after that, that was when the pipe was manufactured. Um, it was installed into the building. So kind of interesting. So having been up in the loft this morning, we then had this very interesting conversation that strangely enough, we had both been having in our own heads and then discussed it this morning, which was if we remove this ceiling because there's no joists above it, there, there are some timbers there, but it's really just to support the ceiling. Um, we could have this kind of vaulted ceiling in this room because this is where we're gonna put the wood burner with the flue going all the way to then heat this space and potentially the loft space and kind of revert, revert it back to how it originally was, which was no ceiling in here. Mm. I don't know when the ceiling would have been put in, but... No idea. It definitely looks more modern. I mean, unless the staircase was in this hatch, but that would be weird. So the mystery continues, but there is no mystery about what is going to happen next, <laughs> although it won't be happening in this video. We're going to wrap this one up and then when we have fully rested, we're going to start the process of taking up all the tiles and the floorboards and putting a new floor down. So that will happen in the next video. So do stick around for that. But that's enough for this one. We will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye bye.